all right good day good day you guys and welcome back to the channel i'm peter for those of you that are new here welcome go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap the notification bell so you can know when i'm uploading to the channel Ooh we y'all i know in the beginning of the um year i thought that the answers was gonna have me like running like just knocking things out and they had me running all right but they had me running um doing rituals and running and working on self you know and one thing that i never uh experienced to this magnitude was grief and how grief could play a major role on your transformation um i knew like you know that the tra the, the the death transition was a heavy one you know and it was you now it was the soul now transitioning into a new experience or a new realm or being um birthed into a new existence you know but not necessarily how would it impact um me um because i've never experienced grief to the point to where it was debilitating or um you know to where it hurt you know until i lost my mother my grandmother um who was like my mother so it's been uh, a journey of really um going in and doing a lot of um doing a lot of internal work and re-identifying some things you know and so um with that being said i feel that the ancestors are now saying like okay you know you can go out there today and you can you can have you some you can have you some fun but i'm gonna need you to go on back in when it's when it's time so so i'm here you guys i know you guys have been missing me but it's gonna be times to where you guys are starting your journey and or you guys are moving along your path and you're doing all of this work and you're doing a lot of heavy energy work you're going to realize that there's going to be times where you have to take breaks for yourself in order for you to be effective for other people all right so this is one of those times to where you know we're just relaxing chilling and healing you know um but the the upside to this um the upside to this um, experiencing the grief to this magnitude it allowed something to happen for me that has never happened before and that was me to experience emotions on a new level you know and you know they always talk about how emotional the cancer is but I kind of never got an opportunity to see that side of myself because of things that I had to work through and now um, with this with this whole situation that transpired in October um it was like dang i was i was going through the fields and i was going on this journey with spirit and i was just allowing spirit and my ancestors to take me wherever they wanted to take me you know so every now and again i would come over on here when i was allowed to and um and bless y'all with a message you know but it's like they just been kind of had me in super hibernation um, so your ancestor message, I'm going to just get right into it. Your ancestor message is talking about now being able to come out. All right. Now being able to come out and showing a different version of yourself, immersion into a new form. All right. When you can, when you, some of you uh, have been in isolation as well, and you also had the same um, thought process, the same understanding. You thought that like the new year was going to bring in something different and and that you was just going to be gone and moving and moving and moving. And Spirit was like, I know we need you to sit down real quick. And they sat you down in order for you to understand things on a different level. All right. And as you began to understand those things, you know, things began to get heavier for you and deeper. And you was like, in your mind, you was like, man, I don't even know why this stuff is showing up like this, you know. I was done with this process, but what your answers are saying is like, they know that you were done with that process, but there were things that they were wanting you to identify within that process that was going to assist you in your evolution for your next level. All right. And so you went through this particular situation for your evolution to your next level. 
the assignment that they have for you now is greater it's bigger um because they understand that like you could withstand a lot of, a lot of different things and you understand things to a certain degree now to where when when certain storms come in and certain certain pitfalls come in that you you know you won't get blown over you won't get knocked into the hole so now you're coming out now you're now you're emerging now you're evolving into a new self and now the world is going to see you different and now um, the people around you and the people that you're guiding and the people that you're mentoring is going to see you differently all right but it's there is a change that's occurring and so what your ancestors and your guys are saying is that like they was preparing you for this next thing which is this offering like it's some kind of offering that's coming in it's either you, you're going to be giving an offering to somebody or, or someone is going to be giving an offering to you you know maybe somebody's coming in and trying to you know wanted to take things to the next level with you or you know um you're going to be working on something together like something collaborative but there is going to be an offer made so i want you guys to uh you know if you receive the offering if you want to receive the offering right i receive that offering because look at the little little bird just came right here a little magpie just came right here um but yeah say you receive the offering okay and um when this offering comes in, um, just know that this particular offering um, that was gifted to you by your ancestors is blessed, all right? But um, a lot that's happening right now is like your ancestors have been working diligently for you. And so um, this diligence that they've been working behind the scene is going to clear the way. All right, and when I talk about clearing the way, they're talking about clearing the way in order for your passion to, to just burn things down. You know, y'all already know how fire does anyway. Fire just gets everything on out the way. All right, and so that's what your answers are doing. They are moving things out of the way in order for you to really step into your passion. All right, and so they want to be like, they, they are guiding you. They're kind of like your mentor, so to speak, you know, coaching you, all right, directing your path. And as they continue to direct your path, they're, they're showing you things and they're showing you tools that you can utilize throughout um, this experience in order to help you along this path and help you along this journey. And others of you may um, be even seeking a mentor because if you don't have a mentor, then you you may need to seek out a mentor in your field all right uh seek out a mentor that could help you and coach you to the next level to help you just get over the hump because sometimes you're not gonna be able to do it by yourself all right sometimes you're gonna need some assistance sometimes you're gonna need some guidance sometimes you're gonna need something else other than yourself and other than your own knowledge to help propel to help propel you to that next level so if you're feeling stuck then that's that's what's being required for you to you know get somebody to help mentor you or get somebody to help coach you all right and then for those of you that do have mentors you know looking at the things that just really sitting down and 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 and, and focusing on those things that your mentor talked to you about that you didn't see in yourself and writing those things down and affirming those things for yourself so that they could come into fruition look at that <laughs> so that they can come into fruition for you um but yeah like that mentoring that mentoring is is necessary it's it's time to stop acting all right it's time to stop acting it's time to stop pretending um you uh you are not a a, a performer and so you've been acting in a way that's not of yourself all right maybe it's like when you're going into the public eye or whatever you like you you act in a way in front of them because you don't want them to see you a different way or or you don't want to be viewed a certain way are you are you just doing things that you don't even want to do you're just pretending to do it you're just acting you know and your, and your ancestors are saying like you can you can continue to act but at least act in the role that they want you in all right at least perform well in the role that they want you to perform in and um take inventory you guys do an audit on yourself you know do an audit on yourself because we're talking about minerals we're talking about the things that feed you we're talking about the things that provide you substance here and your ancestors are like do an audit you know what's solid what's solid in your life we're looking at solidarity we're looking at what's solidified in your life and so when you look across your entire life and you look at the people that are in your life you know they want you to take an inventory okay they want you to see what's solid and see what's true and see what's real in your particular situation you know all the relationships that you have solid 
And if they are up for question, then it's time for you to now extract yourself from those relationships. Are the things that you are um, investing your energy in solid? And if they're not, then again, we need there needs to be an audit. There needs to be some reconsideration. All the all the people that you're hanging around, it's the job that you're doing, it's the it's the it, anything that you're doing right now. If it's if it's not solid and there's question about it, then there's time for you to now take inventory and um, you know go deeper, go deeper in that. And some of those things have to be removed. All right, because a lot of those things are the obstacle okay and the father the father is um present uh, like fathers like people's dad's been coming a lot okay and people's dad has been coming a lot um and just showing me different things but this father energy and so what i'm feeling like is like the father energy i'm not sure like how some of y'all viewed y'all father i feel like that some of y'all viewed y'all fathers in like it's a lot of y'all that viewed y'all fathers in a good light like this is the one that came to all your games this is the one that was at your school you know for um whatever the when they called your parents up there or whatever this is the one that supported you and everything that you did but then you got this father then you got this other father energy that's present and it's like you might not have this one in such a great light you know and so the message that is coming from the father energy is like it's an authority right it's an authority but it's also a, a, a it's it's also making a statement all right and that statement that is being made or that feeling that's being made is that like whatever energy that the father is showing up for some of you some of you have these father wounds and so however the father is showing up for you that's what you project into the world so if you had one of these amazing fathers that showed up as an authoritative figure that was there and provided for you and gave you all the things that you needed you know and what you're projecting to the world is that you know you're projecting your best um your best representation of your father but if you had a father that was like toxic and abusive and alcoholic or you know a drug addict or whatever um temperamental you know all these things then that's what you're projecting out in, into the world and that's how you're showing up to people in the relationships that you enter into the situations that you enter that's how you're showing up showing up with the father wounds so your your ancestors will want you to your your ancestors and, and these father ancestors are want to wanting you to really dig deep into that and and understand how how they are showing up in your life man how they are showing up how your father wounds are showing up in your life and you can revamp that role you know if it's showing up in a negative light you can talk on you know pretty much find a, a a father that's worth emulating and start emulating those characteristics and doing that audit cross-referencing okay this is how my actual father showed up this is how i'm showing up in people's lives and this is the way that I want to be so now you have to do the things that you need to in order to show up in that way and we're going into the mother womb now the mother energies that are showing up how are you projecting as the mother are you projecting as the bitter mother that's trying to you know keep the kids away from whatever and you know not wanting the kids to do this and not being attentive to the children and not doing that are you showing up as the mother that is very nurturing very caring still ruling with an iron fist but um you know um you know very 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 attentive paying attention to every aspect of your child's life because see we can't just be the fun parent we can't just be the parent that uh wants to you know do everything that we consider right for our kids we also have to do the things that we don't want to do like in, in, instill those disciplines when it's necessary all right and are you being the neglectful parent the parent that's like you know just kind of like letting your kids run rapid and doing whatever it is they want to do because either way okay there's going to be um there's going to be things that um that comes up for them when they become adults and they're going to blame uh you for it so you got to project the correct mother wounds so that the mother wounds that they project to the world will be healthy ones as well all right so we are um we're looking at those projections. So what are you projecting from your mother? How do you see your mother? All right, some mother wounds that, um, some mother wounds that showed up for me um, in, in my process has been like the mother wound of, 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 of just discipline, discipline, discipline. You know, so what had to happen for me is I had to create a balance of both worlds. All right, I had to create a balance of both worlds because it was not nice. 
all right it was not nice that discipline was not nice um and the way that i showed up to people was not nice and my mom's di discipline was like um my mom's discipline was just different i, I ain't gonna even say it was bad it was just different you know and so um you have to watch how you showing up with your mother wounds and when i'm talking about my mother i'm talking about my my grandmother my grandmother was a scorpio so she's kind of mean you know um so mother wounds how are they showing up for you all right um your guys and your ancestors are saying that like in the ancestor world there's a lot of common releases that's happening all right there's a lot of common releasing that's happening and so on the physical plane a lot of you are going through a lot of common releasing releasing a lot of these things a lot of these habits a lot of these influences that no longer serve you on this journey all right and so that's a that's part of the reason why um you know there was a need to go back in all right there was a need to go back in because a lot of those things like you don't even resonate with that stuff no more that stuff doesn't even resonate with you and it does not fit the assignment anymore it no longer fits the assignment and so because it no longer fits the assignment there needs to be you have to do away with it all right you have to do away with it or you have to upgrade it so to speak because what it was doing then is not doing now there's even rituals and routines that you're doing spiritually that are no longer fitting the agenda is no longer fitting the assignment it's no longer fitting the things that you need for it to fit right now all right there are sometimes there are some people that you know you 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 used to be like yo i really resonate with this information and now you don't even resonate with it you know because it no longer fits the assignment so whatever your assignment is you know you have to find the mentor and you have to find the information that that fits what you're going through at this moment right now all right so a lot of these rituals a lot of you know some 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 of us you know maybe just deal with our ancestors like once a month you know and some of us you know now you need more now you need to deal with them a lot more you know um some of you do your rituals and you only have rituals for yourself like twice a month well you might need to do a lot more because those rituals and routines don't fit the assignment anymore all the rich all the rituals that you was doing just don't work at all so you know now you got to find new rituals now you got to find new routines that's gonna fit that assignment that's gonna fit what you got going on in your life right now okay so it's a lot of karmic releases there's a lot of karmic clearance a lot of things changing there's a lot of things that they are um that they're doing that you cannot see all right so many different codes and so many different activations that are coming in for you all right so it's time for it's time now for you to show the world like how you're going to um like it's time for you now to show the world like the things that you've been working on and things that you are made of you may have been feeling like yo it's never gonna happen for me it's not it don't feel like it's gonna work out you may be feeling defeated well you're not defeated yo it's coming and they saying like you gotta do something fun and creative like do something to spend that energy like do something pleasurable whatever you consider pleasurable you know i can't sit out here and run a list of pleasures for you but whatever you feel in this pleasurable do pleasurable do something pleasurable make yourself feel good make yourself feel like it wants to exist all right because sometimes you get so caught up in the routine or sometimes you get so caught up in the mundane that you forget to do things that make your soul happy and you forget to take time for yourself and you forget to rest and you forget to just have fun so do something pleasurable that's going to allow you to have fun that's going to allow your soul to feel good that's going to allow your spirit to feel like dang that was worth it today you know maybe even your self-care however you got to do that you know but it's time you guys so um the way it's being cleared the ancestors is like yeah we've been quiet you know i feel i know some of y'all feel like y'all ancestors been quiet like y'all ain't been hearing from them you know but they've been over there busy they've been over there working and they've been over there helping you so much to like get through your times all right because sometimes it, hey you might not have felt like you was gonna get through certain times all right because that, that thing came through too heavy now didn't it but that's okay they're gonna continue to work with you over the course of this year all right you're gonna be you're gonna be feeling uh transformation occurring over the course of this year it's gonna be sometimes y'all gonna be feeling like y'all ain't gonna be able to do nothing at all y'all just gonna have to sit in the house and just focus on y'all it's gonna be sometimes y'all gonna feel like y'all can't talk to nobody it's gonna be sometimes y'all feel like y'all just gotta sit there with yourself okay it's gonna be sometimes like that but that's okay and you shouldn't feel bad about it all right just do what you just do what you feel is necessary for your journey and your healing and your level up because there is going to be a level up all right 
there's going to be a level up but that level up is going to come with that 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 new found information that new sense of vulnerability you know that new sense of surrender all right, because it's gonna it's gonna require a it's gonna require a surrendering of spirit. All right, it's gonna requiring a surrendering to um, the things that come up that show itself in your journey in your healing process. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I am still on Patreon though. We have not left Patreon. We will still be on Patreon. We'll probably be on Patreon more than we are on here. You know, we're just trying to work things out a little bit, um, putting the energy where it's deserved you know so not forgetting about you guys are trying to put the put the focus where where it's needed right now the energy that i do have all right so that's pretty much it you guys like i hope you guys enjoyed this message again when the ancestors lead me i'll be back y'all guarantee i'll be back if they tell me to come up here every day next week i will if they tell me to come up every day for the rest of the week i will it just all depends on when they want me to show up all right but we are on patreon we still having our uh, anonymous corners. We are still having our classes. Um, this month is like peer to peer, but there still be there'll still be an appearance by me where we will um, discuss. We will discuss the last few chapters of that book. Hey, that book is some serious. Is bringing a lot of things into perspective, and I'm hoping that next month the next assignment is going to bring a lot of things into clarity too. Where we talk about a lot of different things that we find ourselves doing. And yet we are we aren't sure why we're doing it. So we're gonna dive in deeper into that spiritual essence as to why we do certain things. Okay. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh if you're doing well, like drop me a note in the comments and I'll holler at y'all.